uh, to our religious leaders, um, thank you. Uh, to uh, uh, Archbishop Lesheloy, thank you for your magnificent prayer. Uh, he was the uh, chaplain of the house today and opened uh, the, uh, the House of uh, Representatives uh, with a very special, magnificent prayer. Thank you. It was beautiful to turn on the TV set and to see you there. It was a great way to start the day. So thank you for honoring uh, the House with your prayer. To everyone that is here this evening, uh, certainly to the young people, to the parents, to the grandparents, um, this is an anniversary. Uh, and I can't help but think of um, how long um, now, at this stage of my life, how long it's been since I first heard the stories from the witnesses in my own family. I think that if you just turn a little and behold what's behind you, capital of the United States of America. And there is a purpose to our meeting here, uh, almost under the dome of the Capitol, and it is about the values and the hopes and the aspirations of Armenian Americans and the people across our country. And for us in our community, we have kept the candle burning brightly, and it's the candle of truth. And as Congressman Sarbanes said, a democracy has to be and, and continue its moral under, underpinnings. And one of those is that we speak the truth to the world. That's why we not only commemorate what has happened, but we also seek to tell the truth for all of the reasons that are necessary. We are faith-filled people. If we were not, I don't know how that generation was able to survive what they witnessed and what they endured. And we know that before every Easter, every Easter Sunday, that there is a Good Friday. So today is the anniversary, the repetition of the Good Friday, where they gave their lives. They lost their lives. But they live on in ours, in our hearts, in our memories, most importantly in our prayers, and they we know as a faith-filled people that they live in the sight of Almighty God. But God's work has to be our work. We have to make that our own. I will not rest. The Armenian caucus will not rest. You will not rest. The younger generation will not rest until the resolution acknowledging the truth of what was done the Armenian genocide to our people by the Congress of the United States of America. We have waited a long time. I was saying to Frank Cologne today, when I first arrived, the first thing I did was to sign on, was the first act as a new member of Congress was to sign on to the resolution that Congressman Tony Coelho had at that time, in 1993, January of 1993. And you all have been through a lot. And there are people that used to come because they were able to come and they've either gone to heaven or can't come and be with us today. But we've been through a lot of hardships. And we're going to endure and we're going to win this one. Because that's the mark of the tenacity and the decency and the wisdom and the effectiveness of our people. So we ask those that gave, that whose lives were taken 98 years ago to bless us and to inspire us both through our faith and our acting out and living out our faith in what we do. What we do here in the Congress and what we do in our day-to-day -day lives. That will honor them. That will honor them. 
So I look forward to our collective Easter Sunday. We're going to win this. We have to, and we will. Thank you. I love you all.